Our president, President Biden, signed into legislation on Thursday, Juneteenth, as a federal holiday. Today, June 19th, is now officially a federal holiday to commemorate the end of slavery in the United States of America. Amen. You know, I, I, I didn't know anything really about Juneteenth you know, until last year, I mean, that, it's, it's, I, I've lived my, almost my whole life and knew very little about this. And last year, I had this huge awakening as I began to look into the history of the whole issue surrounding slavery and, and June, uh, Juneteenth. And I said last year, you know what, I'm going to start celebrating this every year. And, and, and this, this year... Our president made it a federal holiday so that not only can we celebrate it, but um, I'm, I'm actually thinking of paying our staff to have that holiday as a paid holiday as well. So I'm super excited about this. Yeah. You know, liberty is one of the things that unites us as a people. We are one nation under God. That's who we are. Many peoples, many ethnicities but one nation. And concerning nationhood, we are all Americans first and foremost. All of us. Where we come from is secondary. Whether you're white or black or any color in between, we've all come from somewhere. And that's secondary. We are first and foremost Americans. And if, if, if that's a problem and you want to make where you come from you know, first and foremost, you can do that. You're free to do that. But the thing that unites us as a nation is the ideals that we hold dear to us, such as liberty and justice for all. That's what brings us together. So what is June 16th or June 19th, Juneteenth? What is it? Let me read this. I thought it was fascinating. Juneteenth is the oldest nationally celebrated commemoration of the ending of slavery in the United States. Dating back to 1865, it was on June 19th that the Union soldiers, led by Major General Gordon Granger, landed at Galveston, Texas, with news that the war had ended and that the enslaved were now free. Note that this was two and a half years after President Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation, which had become official January 1st, 1863. The Emancipation Proclamation had little impact on the Texans due to the minimal number of Union troops to enforce the new executive order. However, with the surrender of General Lee in April of 1865 and the arrival of General Granger's regiment, the forces were finally strong enough to influence and overcome the resistance. The Reverend Ronald Myers Sr., founder and chairman of the National Juneteenth Observance Foundation, puts it in perspective when he stated, quote, for some, the 4th of July tells only half the story of freedom in America. The 4th of July freed the land from Britain. The 19th of June freed all the people. So you really can't talk about freedom in America unless you talk about the 4th of July and the 19th of June. That's, that's amazing. You know, Don and I were talking about this just yesterday in we were reminding ourselves of World War II and our fight against Nazi Germany and its global oppression and, and plan to, to take over really the entire world. There were two days that celebrated that war and its victory. It was called D-Day and V-Day. D-Day is when the Normandy beaches were, were, were overwhelmed by our troops as we engaged the enemy in our, probably one of the fiercest battles in World War II. Winning that beach was declared D-Day. The plan was if we could win that part, 
that location, that geography, if we could take that, the war was in effect already over. It would be the defeat of the enemy. The war would go on, though, for quite some time until the enemy would finally surrender. When the enemy surrendered, that was called V-Day. So you had D-Day, which in effect said the war is over, but it took a while longer to get the enemy to surrender. July 4th, 1776 was D-Day for the issue of slavery in America. But it would take some 90 more years to continue to fight that war until we would have the final victory in which everyone was declared and proclaimed free in the United States of America. So those two dates now, 1776 and 1865, are now brought together as national holidays, serving as bookends to the war against slavery and the celebration of liberty for all persons in the United States of America. I'm going to close with Fannie Lou Hammer, her famous saying, nobody's free until everybody's free. June 19th, Juneteenth is the celebration of everyone becoming free.